I think I'm having too much fun. Oh my gosh. So I'm Meg Harrison. I own Blackwing Farms. And we make flower essence remedies, homeopathics, and essential oils for animal behavior. We want to improve animal behavior. Here's the good news. Our remedies, now the flower essence is only, not the aromatherapies, because that for us is only for dogs, horses, and the people who love them. We do not use any essential oils on cats. I, um, I work with many veterinarians who do use oils on cats. That's fine, but it's not for me. It, it's just something I err on the side of caution. I was schooled a long time ago about the, literally the, the there in the cat, in the feline, they do not have a particular enzyme in their liver that will allow them to metabolize those large molecules of the essential oils. The other thing about oils, they're not judicious for our planet. It takes way too many flowers, way too much production to get an ounce of oil. That again is more for a different discussion. I did a whole blog on it and I'm really proud of that blog at blackwingfarms.com. So we're here right now to talk about problems in paradise. That's the set that I wanna talk about right now. Problems in paradise. You got the perfect animal, the perfect everything and I was sharing that uh, I actually reread one of my old blogs and started to cry because this was Problems in Paradise. This man was a widower. He, all he wanted was a dog. He was widowed. He was retired. He just wanted a rescue dog to go to dog park. That's all he wanted. 10 o'clock coffee with his friends. That's all he wanted. And he got the perfect dog. He loved the dog. Here's what happened. The dog hated the car, hated the ride, hated dog park hated everything about it. And he was desperate. He worked with four trainers. And finally, the fourth trainer said, I don't know if it's going to do any good, but I would contact Blackwing Farms. See if they have a remedy for you. Well, it didn't work in the beginning. And here, this can happen. So it didn't work in the beginning. And, and for four or five days, he didn't see any improvement. He'd take the dog and the dog would still shake and whine just driving past dog park. So he was resigned. He said, you know, if she doesn't want to do that, I'm good. I love this dog. I'm not giving her back. You know, I can go by myself if that's what it is. And so he stayed with the flower essences. I said, keep trying, maybe double the amount that you're of times that you're using, not the amount of remedy, but the amount of times you're using it throughout the day. So 10 days later, he could not find his dog. Could not find her. It was 10 o'clock in the morning. She might have known, you know, uh-oh, you know, coffee at dog park. She might have not wanted to go there. And he could not find her. And he was really upset. He said out loud, he goes, I will never make you do anything you don't want to do, ever. And all of a sudden, he looks outside in the front yard. And there's his dog sitting by his car at 10 o'clock in the morning. And the dog looks at the car car, looks at him, looks back at the car, 10 days after starting on these flower essences, and the guy is like, he's frozen. He's frozen in space. He doesn't know what to do. And the dog looked at him again as much to say, go grab your keys. We need to go to dog park. And they did. And I am talking happily ever after. So here's, here's what he did. He stayed with it. He stayed with it. It never takes 10 days for us to Improve. Well, rarely, let me say that. Ferals captured Mustangs, it might take 10 days. Feral cats, it might take 10 days for us to see some kind of positive improvement. But this man, he just, he, that's what he wanted. His dog said, okay, I can do this for you. So uh, yeah, problems in paradise. And, it, and you know, we all, we all define our own paradise. So that, that was for him. It was perfect for shyness. It's perfect for too much bold, et cetera. So we've got two remedies in this set and one is called confidence and one is called settle down. So we, we were working with confidence with this little rescue, you know, kind of like get confident in the car. It's okay. Get confident at dog park. Uh, get confident with who you are. Don't, don't be shaking when I to, go to put your harness on. So that's confidence. Now here's what's in there. Oh my gosh. It's got sweet pea. Oh, what a fabulous little flower. Sweet pea, we all know that beautiful, delicate little vine. It's for 24-7 kindness. And it's it's not that the animals aren't kind. It's just that, you know, I'm not, I, I, I'm a little too scared. 
to go along with you right now. So uh, yeah, clover, any color clover. If you wanna make your own, you grab a couple of flower tops of the clover. It can be red, pink, white, whatever. And you just literally float them in some water. Distilled water is my preference. Set them in the sun for 20 minutes, strain and drink that water. Oh my gosh. So that is clover, any color that's for gentleness. And again, it's, you know, maybe the dog didn't need gentleness, but maybe he did. And as soon as he backed off and said, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. How gentle is that? How beautiful. What a, what a way to have a form of friendship. Okay. So, um, and gorse for trust, mustard for balanced courage. Mustard is one of those. I also use it for lingering depression, but in this case, blended with these other flowers, it is for balanced courage. All right, settle down. Settle down is a formula also in this set, Problems in Paradise. And I made it actually for happy Labrador retrievers. You know how when you come home, they're a little too happy. They're a little too in your face, knocking you over, you know, just want to wiggle. I, you know, full body wiggle wag is what I call a, a, a happy lab. And so it's not that they're doing anything wrong. We just want them to settle down. Or we're in a, uh, a shelter setting. And now it's open to the public. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. They're all fed. They're all walked. They're all pottied. And now people are coming. Oh, wow. And everybody's just a little too excited. They're jumping up. They're being vocal, whatever. Uh, people are, and from the studies that I've read about shelters and adoption, uh, people are a little more hesitant to adopt a dog that they, think when they get them home, they will be jumpy, barky, et cetera. So again, you know, we just want to sit on the floor and cuddle with them. That settle down. Just take the edge off is, is really, really what I call it. We don't want less energy. Energy is good. Stress is not. What we're looking for is we're looking for more focus. So I always hear people want calm from their animals. No, not really. <laughs> we don't want them to calm down. That's not, especially if that's not in their nature. So I'll take a happy lab all day long that's got maybe a soft toy, you know, just barely doing the wiggle wag dance um, and the happy dance as Dr. Ian Dunbar would call it, uh, the happy dance. And I, I want them because they're happy. I don't want to throw a bucket of water on that. So, so that's what we're doing. All we want is settle down, a little more focus. And I want you to be quiet when I ask. So I'm going to give that dog, I'm going to give that, you know, that Labrador, that happy animal. Not the, not the barky Yorkie, but I'm going to give that happy animal maybe a minute or two to absolutely be happy. Uh, express yourself however you want. But then when I need it, I need quiet. I need peace. I need, I need calm. I need, let's settle down. So that's it. Here's the formula. Oh my gosh. Um, where is it? Okay. Star tulip for grounding. Again, yarrowness in this case is for stubbornness valerian flowers we never use the root in our practice for anything but valerian is fabulous for relaxation uh, echinacea for excitability echinacea is actually known as the snake bite remedy so when we get bit by a snake everything's too excited our blood is excited we're excited everything is too excited echinacea helps with that it's yeah we we'll, we'll tell that story later about the you know the snake oil Remedy. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Uh, homeopathic Arnica, you know I love that for mental clarity. And it's the perfect formula, like I said, for those, um, those animals that are just so happy and so excited that they just cannot focus on you. And again, that is our primary purpose is, you know, this relationship. So thank you so much for letting me share today. Bye. You've been listening to Animals Inside Out, brought to you by Blackwing Farms. If you know anyone who could benefit from today's episode, please consider sharing it. Also, if you want to learn more about Blackwing Farms and the incredible natural remedies for mental, physical, and emotional needs of animals, go to blackwingfarms.com and enter Animals Inside Out for 10% off your next purchase. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts, and we'll see you in the next episode.